I'm Scott Becker, a moderator and analyst with Actual Tech Media. Welcome to our Actual Tech Media Solution Spotlight series. I'm excited to be here with Umar Wahid, who's head of product marketing at Yellow Brick Data. Umar, welcome. Thanks, Scott. Great to be here. So I understand Yellow Brick offers enterprise cloud data warehouse. How does Yellow Brick define uh, that term, enterprise cloud data warehouse? Yeah, so cloud data warehousing is 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 doing data warehousing in the cloud. I guess is, is is the obvious term. But you know, data warehousing in the cloud has really grown from what we used to do uh, when we used to talk about data warehousing on premises, and it's grown both in the terms of the size and scale of data uh, that we deal with, but also in the audience of who we serve uh, data to. So uh, in the cloud, we want to serve data to many more people. You know, data is really you know so important now. Uh, you know, in terms of it has board level. Uh, visibility people really want to maximize and you know extract the ultimate value from their data um, so and, and and that means getting it in front of as many people as possible um, so one of the things that you know challenges that used to happen on on-premises in the on-premises world or the legacy world is that you know we used to really restrict who could see data so that's one of the the, the, the you know, I, I guess one of the, the great things about cloud data warehousing it gives us that size and scale uh, to, to do things and, and, to, and to provide data to, to that broader set, broader audience. So that makes the, the benefits really clear, but what are the challenges that enterprises face when trying to run their data warehouses, which they're used to having on premises um, in the cloud? Yeah, so uh, you know, it's uh, the cloud is is is, is new. Uh, you know, a lot of people have to try and learn how to get the best out of the cloud. Um, you know, lifting and shifting legacy and old technologies to the cloud really doesn't make sense. There are very few cost savings to be made. So, you know, learning how to do cloud well um, is the first challenge. Uh, the, the cloud uh, also you know, brings a lot of benefits in terms of, you know, uh, agility and scale and elasticity. Uh, but that also comes with risk. So the risk is that you, you can very easily uh, you know, get into sort of a situation where your costs run away with themselves. Because you know, we find a lot of times you know, data is so important that you know, um, some really successful projects become victims of their own success. Uh, that actually there's, you know, people start doing more and more analytics, more and more reporting, uh, projections for cloud spend and cloud costs go through the roof. So you know, keeping a, a, a cap on those costs uh, is, is super important and some, something where uh, Yellowbrick really uh, has some differentiation. Yeah, let's dig into that a little bit. So, what does what does Yellow Brick do to to solve some of those issues, especially the uh, the the costs? Yeah, so Yellow Brick, uh, you know, is 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 a SQL data warehouse. So, firstly, it's it's really familiar to people. So, you know, we are a SQL data warehouse. People, you know, SQL is the lingua franca ling, lingua franca of the uh, analytics world, and you know that hasn't changed uh, despite the, you know the prediction of its demise many times. Um, so, familiarity. Um, you know, you can use uh, you know Yellow Brick from all the tools from Excel, from Tableau, from Power BI, all the tools that you're used to using, and all the integration tools as well that you're used to using to to do uh, analytics uh, historically. So, you know, on one hand, there's very few new skills to learn. Um, Yellow Brick also uh, is built really efficiently, so we make much better use of the underlying infrastructure. Uh, and what that that means is for for our customers is that they can do a lot more on a smaller footprint. Um, so that means effectively uh, you know, lower um, uh, lower cost in terms of cloud infrastructure uh, and also the need to scale less often, which can you know, help to provide a, a cap on those costs. Uh, but it also means that we can provide um, you know, really good, consistent performance back to the end user. So, you know, again, coming back to one of those challenges, you know, you don't want something to be taking you know, uh, 10 seconds one day and 10 minutes the next day. You want a nice, consistent, steady performance. And that's one of the things we pride ourselves on uh, is being able to deliver really consistent performance to large numbers of users running really complex analytics workloads at the same time as uh, your enterprise organization might be running some large data integration and um, you know, data loading tasks. Usually those things conflict. With Yellow Brick, we have uh, means to, to deconflict those, to balance resources fairly across all those groups uh, and really deliver uh, exceptional experiences to those end users. And, you know, that, that's part of helping more people get access to more data is, is to give them that experience and, and not put them off um, by, by having this variable experience that sometimes they have to go away and have a coffee to, to run their report. You know, it's nice, interactive, comes back straight away. Gotcha. Yeah, the, you know that uh, consistent uh, performance sounds great. You know, so so getting into that issue of you know helping more uh, 
end users get value out of the, the data warehouse. Um, how are, are your customers using Yellow Brick? So our customers uh, use, use Yellow Brick in you know, uh, a whole variety of ways. So we have some very large enterprise scale customers that effectively build a relational data lake, a relational, um, you know, big relational data warehouse uh, with all their data pooled for all of their analysts across their entire organization. So petabytes of data across thousands of, of, of people. Um, we have a, a lot of financial services organizations that are you know, really lean into uh, some of Yellowbrick's strengths around um, uh, security and compliance. One of the th one of the differences with Yellowbrick is that uh, you, know, you own all of your data all of the time and all of your infrastructure. We don't get in the way. There's nothing yellow brick sitting in the way between uh, you and your, your, your data. Um, so you know, uh, you know, security officers love that part of yellow brick, the ability to be, you know, not have to worry about you know, who's looking at my data or who can see what. Um, we have other customers that uh, use us, use us uh, you know, uh, as um, help to help them deliver services to their customers. So we have a lot of uh, sort of um, ISVs and other uh, analytics services providers uh, that provide retail analytics, you know, telecoms analytics, uh, healthcare analytics, uh, you know, and, and also security analytics back to uh, back to their customers. So one of our uh, core marquee customers is, is LexisNexis, who have a, a solution called Threat Metrics, um, where they provide analytics services back to their customers. So their customers can query data on uh, you know, anomalous website login behavior. Uh, to some of their web properties, so you know that's a service that, that they provide out to you know tens of thousands of, uh, of customers worldwide. So, you know, many and varied. I would say you know really strong uh, on the federal side, or and, and the um, uh, highly uh, governed and regulated side of the world, where you know really that you know that that uh, leaning leaning into that that ability to um, avoid having other parties look at your data or look at you know or be involved even in your platform um, but you know a broad broad sway then you know that's even that that's getting um more and more broad as we move into the cloud um you know and, and you know we can deal with uh, broader uh, sizes of, of customer from from you know uh, much smaller customers up into the large but we really excel at that large really highly complex end of the spectrum uh, where we're often sitting alongside other people's other platforms, other data platforms that are out there, uh, and really taking you know, helping them, um, you know, reduce cost and reduce risk, and provide more of a consistent service to their customers, whoever their customers might be, uh, you know, in 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 the cloud. You know, we talked about cost, you know, runaway cost being a challenge in the cloud. One of the things you can do with Yellowbrick is take some of those really challenging workloads and and hive them off onto Yellowbrick, uh, and and get a more of a consistent service on on both sides of the fence on your on your other technology, but also on, on the other brick. Yeah, that sounds really valuable. Um, so if somebody wanted to get started with yellow brick or, or learn more, what would you recommend? So we're a really friendly organization, you know, find us at yellowbrick.com. Um, you can reach us at, uh, at info at yellowbrick.com as well. Um, but, you know, we uh, can help you get started really quickly. Uh, obviously getting one of the advantages of the cloud is you can get started really quickly, um, particularly if you're on AWS or, or Azure. Uh, we do have our GCP offering uh, coming soon as well. But yeah, just get in touch. Uh, we, we are happy to stand up a POC. The best way to experience Yellowbrick is to see it for yourself on your data. Um, we do have some uh, online demos and hands-on lab experiences that we can get you access to as well if, if you want to get started quickly. But best way is, is get started with, with your data uh, on, on Yellowbrick on the cloud. All right, fantastic. Well, Umer, uh, thanks so much for coming on and, and bringing us up to speed on, on Yellowbrick. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, Scott. Great, great to talk to you. And if you found this conversation informative, check out our library of Solution Spotlight videos on YouTube.